Hi, welcome to this video. At this point in time, in Arco Linux, you have three ways to install it. You have an Arco Linux ISO, which is our have fun ISO, two gigabytes big. All you have to do is set up a conky wallpaper theme, that's it. In Arco Linux D, you learn that you can start with a minimal ISO and you can get scripts in to install any desktop you like. And there's a third possibility from now on. There's also Arco Linux B. And Arco Linux B builds an ISO. So here you get an ISO, you get an ISO, here you build it yourself. That means you give you all the power and it's in phase four that you can see our vision. We want to give you the possibility to make an ISO on the basis of Arco Linux, of course. And then say, I don't want that browser, but I do want that browser. I don't want LibreOffice, I want OpenOffice. I want to add Steam, I want to delete something else. So you can add uh, a change, um, the package is of both, and that's the file you need to edit to make your own personal uh, ISO. That's super, right? So phase two, you can have XFC, OpenBox, or i3. You can have phase three, awesome, PSP. I mean, by mean, I mean by that that we can have any Arco Linux B, as we will call it then, because phase four is built your own ISO, the B. And we will make it very easy. We've just made a tutorial of XFCE online. This is one about OpenBox. It's not that difficult. All you need to do is follow some steps here. Get your build scripts from, with Git clone, you just want OpenBox and nothing more. That's our goal today. So I'm gonna copy paste this, Control C, going down, right mouse click, open new window. We stay on desktop, open a terminal here, Control Shift V, and there you have it. We have everything from the net on our machine. And the only thing you have to remember is run number 30. That's it. That's the technicality of uh, building an ISO at this point in time. Oh, come on. So, you tell them to build the ISO, you tell them your password. I've already built a folder, so it will create a folder on your system. As you see here, Arco Linux, Arco Linux B, and here it is, the B from build. And basically you have to say three times yes, yes, cache, delete cache, yes, remove cache. This is not my option, that's an option, that's a, the standard option to install an ISO, or create an ISO better. The only thing we have to do now is walk away and um, go eat or something, drink a coffee, um, and then the ISO will be built and it will be in this folder that's here activated. That's this folder that will contain the ISO. Then it's of course up to us to check out if the ISO works in a virtual box. I say, okay, that's what I want. Then you burn the ISO with to a USB. We have a nice little icon here, USB image writer at this point in time, 6.8.2. But of course it used to be down here. So it's still in here. Oh yeah, yeah I should still update, still an older version this one. It's still in my ETC scheduler. You remember, you have to, up to copy paste to update. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for um, this thing to end. You see it's 1110 packages that we're going to install and we have to wait for it and there we go we have now a iso and i've just moved it to my documents because otherwise i'll override it so it's now in here in documents arc linux b and there is a well different versions but the today version is this one uh, open box right that's that one so where does it end? It ends in the Arch Linux B build, Arch ISO, in out. Here it is. That's the ISO that you have created and that's what you need to burn on your USB. And there's a little tool down here where you can say, let's burn an image to a USB and that's that. Then you have to put on an SSD or anything. But first maybe you just try it out in VirtualBox. You see, what elements you need to add or remove and then finally build it again. All right, I hope you enjoy Arco Linux build. It's, um, I think, a neat uh, extra power, extra freedom for Arco Linux users. All right, cheers.